Hey guys, welcome back to another Utah Macross video. And of course, when there's a new event, we're gonna talk about, well, the new gacha. So let's dive down into the gacha page right now. Okay, so there's nothing really much to talk about with the event, the Kuji event, because everything seems to be as per normal. Uh, nothing special going on. Okay guys, so I kind of left out <laughs> some information uh, regarding the event, I thought there was nothing, but as I was playing, I was wondering, eh, how come I didn't clear um, some of the missions? Um, well, mainly because I didn't notice the flashing icon for the challenge, and apparently, um, while you're playing alive, right, the HP is gradually decreasing during the life as you go through. So there are some missions where you, you are required to clear the song with certain percentage of HP. Well, with this in mind, with this challenge in mind, um, what I can recommend is basically um, you just have to play a song, right? With the diva, let's just choose a random one, with the diva in the center, with an active plate to heal. So for me, I still have a team set up for luck like what you can see here this whole team is mainly built for luck um, except for some that actually is included just for the bonus percentage here yeah so um, I do have another team that is ex uh, set up for playing extreme so yeah I'm still trying to full combo the extreme um, it's a bit tricky for me because some of the notes are a bit um, quick to tap I mean like consecutive quick tapping so that's why I'm still having some problems and the the music style for this song is a bit um, not my normal kind of things uh, genre that I listen to um, I do enjoy the old um, 80s 70s era of music um, which is pretty nice you know um, so as you can see the extreme setup let me just pull out my extreme setup team um, you can see straight away the center plate that is attached to Min Mei. Um, the plate is actually um, with a center skill to heal. So, yeah, let me just show you guys. So, it recovers 50% HP. Of course, if you have better HP healing plates out there, I think Welcome to Walkway World is one of them. Let me just check. Let me reset the search. Alright, so let's pull out the healing skill here. If I'm not wrong, for free players out there, um, yeah. Well, the last events plate does heal as well. So, if you obtain, if you manage to obtain it, yeah, it's pretty awesome. For those who are new to the game, um, yeah, welcome to Wakure World. It's also a very fantastic healing plate. So, yeah, for free to play players, this is definitely your plate to go to. Uh, yeah, to have it as a center. Then the rest of the plates, you basically can toss in whatever that helps boost your percentage in points um, yeah so this is pretty much my setup for extreme handling because I want to make sure I survive through extreme as you can see I'm still under clear for extreme instead of a perfect or full combo I'm still trying to complete that last mission anyway guys let's get back to the rest of the video uh, if you're wondering how you can tackle that event uh, do wait up for me. I might do a video in the next few days, I guess, uh, when I have the free time. And yeah, something like what I did for the uh, previous video, um, teaching people how to handle the ticketing event. So I will do another video talking about how to handle the Kuji event. So yeah. Anyway, guys, let's tap the main banner for this event. Of course, straight away you can no uh, notice that there is a very sensual uh, episode plate for Lin Min Mei's brand new uh, swimming suit costume that is kind of like a design after uh, the little mermaid I guess <laughs> so yeah um, so let's tap the episode plate and see what's so special about this plate and whether it's worth pulling or not um, total score of 3216 balancing out with the rest of soul and voice uh, and of course the main value is charm so with this value being the highest, you can tell straight away Sunset Beach, the song, is a charm song. So 
Yes, even though it's a yellow element or star element plate, uh, yeah, song, yeah, it, it has its main focus on charm. So any yellow plates with charm is a good thing for this event and song. So, okay, let's talk about the skills. So the center skill basically, um, it has two different skills. That's why it has a plus there. Um, so units total and support. Alright, so support is regarding the uh, Valkyrie attack phase. So yeah, 20% uh, up. So that's pretty decent, I guess. Um, considering that it's uh, boosting two different types of uh, points. So alright, let's move on. Active skill, life recovery of 30%. So Min Mei's plate is a healing plate if it's used as a center. Which is strangely enough, this plate is both used as a center and a life support. So yeah, so life skill at the 42 second mark, which is fantastic. Any life skill that activates later than normal is always welcome. For 14 seconds, your score is increased by 80% up. So fantastic center skill and fantastic life skill. So with all this knowledge handed out to you, do you think Lin Min Mei's play is worth pulling? I would say definitely yes. Hence. That's why I'm currently on my main account and we're taking a look at all this information. But sadly to say, no special notes attached to Lin Min Mei's um, episode plate. So yeah, but still, I'll definitely need a center plate. Um, even though the skill is not a score boosting one, um, I think Min Mei's plate is more useful for uh, mission challenges when she's needed as a center position episode plate. I apologize with all the ringing noise. Um, my, I forgot to turn off my, my computer's notification. So, yeah, pardon me on that. Anyways, um, Living Maze Plate is definitely useful as a live plate as well. But sadly to say, because of its um, well, main focus on charm, it might not do so well as a live in general. Uh, so, definitely a specialization plate for Yellow Element songs, I guess. So take note of that. Not the best life plate, not the best center plate. So it's pretty mediocre. But with its skills and abilities of center and life, I think it's worth investing into it because you never know when you need it. So I'm gonna do a single template pool. Uh, then after that, we'll see how things goes. And yeah, we'll move on to talk about uh, Min Mei's costume to see whether it's actually worth. Um, using episode ops to unlock or not, or just patiently wait it out. You know, uh, getting episode plates from the three free daily pools. If not, you know, whenever you do a template pool, hopefully uh, that that gacha would have um, the plates returning from this current gacha. Yeah, so let's tap this and head in to do one single template pool, and hopefully things go well for me. Hmm. Alright, so we know what to see to get good luck, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, fantastic. So there's a high chance that we might get a rainbow box. Uh, okay, 2 red. So probably one of them is going to evolve. So let's skip all the common stuff. Uh, whoops. I accidentally tapped that. So <laughs> it did not evolve. So that's a very bad sign. Hopefully the second flip. Second red box actually evolves. Uh, okay, there are some new ones that I've never seen before. So I guess those are linked to anime swimsuit costume. Like this one, this one I've not seen before. So, but this evolve? No, no evolution. Okay, we got Martina. That's not too bad. Yeah. So one of the plates evolve. Oh, okay. So Kanami's plate evolve. So I guess that's a fantastic thing. Uh, we got more secret bots on Makina, so that's not too bad as well. So, terrible pool! <laughs> Hopefully you guys have a better chance than I do. Um, don't seem to have anything new for the Min Mei costume. So I guess we're gonna have to unlock it um, through the event itself. Uh, from all the 5 star, no, 4 star episode plates that you can actually get from the Kuji. Definitely need to work hard to get that plus 13 luck episode plate. And of course, if you want to obtain more points for the costume without pulling any more gachas, well, work hard with a team full of luck. Um, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, 
Now, hold up for the, the video um, for the knowledge that's about this event. Uh, if it comes out too late after this event, I apologize if you're unable to unlock the costume. The, I would say the hardworking way. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, like I mentioned, the hint is basically play with a team uh, with full luck like you, you do so in the ticketing event and obtain as many of the uh, 3 star episode plates available within the event songs itself. And of course, those plates will give you um, enough points to unlock Min Mei's costume without pulling gachas. So yes, this is the only event where you can unlock the costume itself without actually spending money or using any of the singing stones uh, unnecessarily. Hey guys, so I decided to do a last minute continue pull of uh, Min Mei's gacha. As you can see, I did it right sometime after uh, Makina's reissuing gacha appears. Uh, I won't explain which one you should pull because I've already done so on the Facebook group. If you guys aren't joined uh, up with us on the Facebook group, I mean Facebook group please uh, join us there where we talk about Macross um, um, events and all the other good stuff about Macross there. The link is in the description down below as always. So anyway guys, let's do some more 10 plate pulls. Um, why am I doing it now? Because, well, I need I need uh, a good yellow center episode plate for high score challenges. I don't have a very good one. Um, so yeah, that's probably one of the reasons why I'm investing so much more singing stones into this. And I shouldn't actually because, well, this coming, this month actually, we have two more um, birthday step out gachas um, coming on the way. Likely, maybe, who knows. Um, so if you're not sure who they are, I'll leave the screenshot of the birthday dates here. You can take a look right now. So if you guys aren't really big fans of these two characters, well, uh, then I guess you can just spend more singing stones on Min Mei's gacha if you love Min Mei a lot more than the, the other two. So <laughs> anyways guys, I'm doing this pool uh, more to strategic play for the future instead of like uh, I don't really I don't really um, waifu Min Mei as much as the other characters. Uh, Min Mei does have a bit of a irky feeling for me when it comes to her personality between the normal series and the Do You Remember Love? Because the two Min Mei's from those two shows uh, are slightly different in character. So, but her decision, you know, between um, the love for Hikaru is what hurts me the most when it comes to Min Mei. So that's why I don't I don't waifu Min Mei as much. <laughs> don't hate me for that anyway. <laughs> so we all have our preferences on who to like. So, <laughs> but I love Min Mei's songs. I have to agree on that. Her songs are wonderful. Uh, so yeah. Uh, but in terms of personality, uh, Min Mei I will put slightly on the lower end of loving her. <laughs> so, alright, uh, enough of explaining for myself, let's, let's do the 10 pick pool, <laughs> guys. Alright, so um, I probably will just do two more 10 pick pools. Um, let's just see how this one goes first before deciding to move on to the next one. Uh, yeah. Okay, so loading screen, hopefully that means something good. Alright, one plane. Nope. So recently I've been on a very terrible streak. Hopefully things change and there are three red boxes, that's not too bad I guess compared to the first pool. There you go, is it gonna evolve? No. Oh, Makina. So just like the first pool I did, um oh, that's a new play I think. And got a lot of Makina <laughs> Okay, okay. That's a medium. Very cute. Uh, okay, here's the last big box. So, lots of maki nalo. Definitely a lot of maki maki. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we. Oh! Oh, we got her evolved. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. So, I, I guess this is a new pick for Min Mei's costume. That should be the case. Alright, let's just refresh the page. I'm um, going in and out again just to improve the luck, I guess. So, the last pool here, um, yeah. 
in case I'm gonna save up more stones because uh, Reina's birthday is coming up so I kind of want to save some stones for a step up gacha oh, oh no so terrible luck and apparently Mimi doesn't like me anymore when I first started playing Uta Meko she keeps tossing me her plates so I, I guess times have changed. <laughs> it's no longer Mimei that loves me. Uh, it seems like Makina is not really me. <laughs> Just as I say Makina, oh my goodness, there's a lot of Makina. <laughs> yeah, so lots of Makina left. Alright, let's see. At least it's off now. Okay. Okay, that's kind of sad. Yeah, we did get a new plate though. Alright guys, so hopefully... Um, you have done better than I do. I, I did. Um, I, like I mentioned earlier in the first pool. Uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, let's continue on with more information about Lin Min Mei's costume. So anyway, guys, let's take a look at Min Mei's costume and see whether if it's actually worth unlocking uh, urgently or um, to hold out until whenever it's actually possible to get obtain it with uh, luck from the daily free draws. So now, alright, so here we have the screenshot. Um, take a look at Min Mei's costume. Very nice, very cute design. Um, sadly to say, looking at its effect, uh, it only focuses on star element plates, which is the yellow element plates. Uh, so basically all star element plates, all the stats on those plates are increased by 3% up. So this costume itself focuses only on star element plates. So it's best used on, I guess, Star Element songs as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, it is in general used for Star Element songs. But, you know, because Star Element plates, they do focus on certain stats like soul, charm and voice. So you have to really strategically plan out your Divas costumes linking to those episode plates that you have equipped on them. So with that said, I would say this plate, or rather this episode, uh, no not episode, um, this costume um, is definitely not worth rushing to obtain. Um, you can take your time to unlock it because it is a bit of a specialization costume. Um, unless you're a big Mei Mei fan then you want to toss episode ops into it, uh, well that's definitely an option. But I don't highly recommend it. But of course, any Min Mei fan out there would definitely don't mind sacrificing episode outs for it. You know, but still, try to put in the effort. Uh, obtain those extra episode plates from the event songs itself. Like I said before, use a team full of luck plates. Um, yeah, and obtain those episode plates. I have done so in the last um, Kuji event. I was able to unlock whatever costume that was for the event without spending any singing stones unnecessarily so that was pretty awesome anyway guys that's all the information i have for the kuji and the episode plates and of course min Mei's brand new costume for this event and if you like what you see in here do hit the subscribe button and the like button to let me know that you guys appreciate the content and one more in the upcoming future and i'll see you guys in the next utah across video and to then bye